Howdy folks, it is Chance here with you about to showcase a brand new model that's called the Crestwood. This right here is a part of Regional Builders Group new Farm Lux series that they're offering. All these are a part of that series. We've got the Ironwood, the Ravenwood, the Foxwood, and the Driftwood. And I tell you what, I'm going to talk a little bit about these homes as I show the exterior of this one, then we're going to get inside. This house is almost 22, this is over 2,200 square foot, by the way. But yeah, what they've done, in my opinion, is they've taken a farmhouse look and design that people have loved for many, many years, and they took it to a whole nother level. And that's my opinion. Y'all drop a comment along the way. Uh, always definitely stuff I don't mention that you notice in the house and all that. I would love to hear from you. We have a side door here. We also are gonna have this uh, dragonfly deck off back. We'll look at it real quick and then we'll get inside. Got a water faucet there, electrical outlet, and I love the black windows with this gray vinyl. Now, some of these homes over here, and I'll show you when we get back around, they have the hardy siding, the board and batten, and you can option any of that on this particular model. You know, obviously all that's gonna have impact on price and stuff as well, okay? I'm gonna walk out there from the inside. Let's go ahead and make our way in. Or I guess I should say back around here. I do want to see like this home has the, the white board and batten. That one down there has the black. And then this home right here has a really nice hardy. I'll try to pop up a picture of that. And so just keep in mind, some of that stuff can be optioned on all these models. And you know, basically what I'm saying, it can be customized into the perfect design and look that you're looking for. As we walk up to the front door, four bed, two bath. I love this little porch area right here. Is that not beautiful? I mean, we got we got to get up in here. I just I don't know. It's 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 such a it's like I get like mountain vibes or something. I don't know. We've got the stone on each side. We've got this uh, cedar here as well. I love these light fixtures. You're gonna see those on uh, I think pretty much every one of the models and electrical out there. Let's get inside. If y'all enjoy these types of tours, I'm gonna encourage you to subscribe to the notification bell and uh, drop a like. Also, if you're having a great time already, let's go. Where do y'all want to start? Where do y'all want? Let's go ahead and go this way. We'll come back and, and hit the living room and that outside deck. And uh, yeah, then we'll then we'll circle back to the main bedroom. Let's go ahead and start right here. We've got our dining area. It's a really big space. Look at how much room that you have right here. And I've been seeing this tray ceiling uh, in a lot of the homes here as well. But what I noticed about this one is just like this full length. This has definitely got to probably be the longest I've seen of it in any of the houses. So this is a solid piece right here, butcher block that we have here on our kitchen island. I've seen it in several of the models. Well, they also have a nice granite. Maybe we'll see it somewhere throughout this house that you can option in on the kitchen island as well. Two different cabinet colors. So, uh, is there not a there's sliding doors? Oh yeah, there's sliding doors, I was thinking. So there's two ways to get out onto the deck. We may just hit it while we right here. We've got our office area. Chore chart. Chore. Ooh, this is what we need for the kids. Clean kitchen, math, homework. 
make the bed. I mean, wouldn't it be great if we could get on to do that? <laughs> oh, look, this is some of that granite I was just telling you about. Check it out. We got a half bath right here. So it's in a great location right here close to the back door. And also just keep in mind, say you didn't have the deck here and you had like your carport, garage or whatever, that's still a great place to have it, right? Let's step out here for just a minute and I'll be back inside. So these dragonfly decks, I've explained it a little bit today, but I'll talk more at the end, but they, uh, they come, they're built on a frame, just like your home here and they're transported. And so they can be set up on pretty much any home out there so yeah i mean it's pretty awesome what they're doing they also have a outdoor living space it's called the firefly um uh, yeah outdoor living space you can have like an outdoor kitchen stuff like that so pretty awesome pretty awesome stuff I want to hit these bedrooms real quick and then we'll get back down to the living room. Wow, this room is massive. Check it out, man. So, you know, coming in at the square footage of this house is, um, every one of these rooms is super big. I think that's kind of, in my opinion, maybe something they focus more on this floor plan. Like, hey, let's not have a four bedroom where all four bedrooms are tiny, where it really should just be a three. Let's make it where every room is big and that sort of thing. That's just my personal opinion because I do sometimes tour houses they're like considering it a four bedroom, but I mean, some of the rooms are pretty small. That's not the case at all here. This is where a side door is positioned. There's our breaker box. What in the world? So this is a dog washing station. I've seen several of them today, but with that towel, this is like, it's only for poodles. I mean, <laughs> it's not like a golden retriever wash station. You know, <laughs> this is this is for Miss Prissy. You know what I'm saying? Any y'all got a little poodle named Miss Prissy? I actually had a neighbor that used to. <laughs> I've seen some other town, the other ones, so keep that in mind. There's options there as well. And here's the stainless steel sink with another beautiful faucet. We got our washer and dryer positioned there. Water heater behind that panel, even some cabinets and the furnace. Well, it's time for us to go into the main bedroom. <laughs> I got y'all. I know y'all are like, oh, Chance. you <laughs> Come on, y'all been doing this for years now. You think I would mess around and mess a room? <laughs> Actually, I do it all the time. No. I was backtracking, honestly. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't miss this. So this is the wood burning setup that I have uh noticed in all the other models here 
but this one has a different stone around it. A lot of the other other ones, maybe all the other ones, I can't remember it right offhand, but they have that black stone, which uh, I think the exterior of this house has. But yeah, so it's cool to see that you have some different options. I'm sorry, this is the stone that's out there, and I'm sorry, that's just I toured all of them back to back to back. Some of it's kind of running together, but yeah. Just keep that in mind. Some of the black stone you see on the others, you could have here. You could probably have that on the outside as well. So that's something to note. Now it's time for the main bedroom. Pocket door into our walk-in closet with double racks and then this nice shelving here. And then we've got the safe as well. Trying to be lazy, not gonna step in here. Let me get it, get in here and give y'all the full little twist and walk around. What what about this model? What are y'all thinking? I mean it's huge, right? And all the bedrooms are big. I mean, look at all the square footage you have right in this area. This house is definitely a true contender for, I think, a, a, a growing family for sure. Uh, Y'all stick around. We'll get into more information. Don't forget to drop a like if you haven't. That'll really help me out. And I'm going to encourage you to share, share, share these videos and subscribe and notification bell if you haven't. Now let's get into that info. Hey, y'all. Look who's joining me in the outro today. <gasps> Can you smell more? <gasps> <laughs> this boy is about to turn eight months old. Oh my goodness. So he said he wanted to get in this shot. All right, y'all, let's get into some information. I will have information in the description. So this is the Crestwood, a part of the Farm Luck series. Um, I've toured the Ravenwood and the Ironwood already. The other two are going to be coming. That Foxwood is a little bit of a smaller house, but it's a really cool layout. That's what I was just thinking as, as I was editing. Every one of these models were like so unique as far as layout and everything like that. Uh, but you can look up all that online. I'll have their link in the description. Plus, I'm going to put, are you, are you smiling at yourself? We can see ourselves here in the camera. <gasps> But yeah, I also am going to put the Dragonfly deck link and the Firefly Outdoor Living Space link in the description if you want to learn more about either of those. Now, they, they are going to basically cover everywhere that Winston Home Builders covers. That's the manufacturer. So it's, it's a lot of like your southeast area. They, they I mean, they are in Texas and everything like that, but mainly your southeast part of the United States. Let's get into some estimated retail. You ready to go see Mama, ain't you? He said he wanted to change sides. So this will be estimated retail pricing at the time of recording. And just keep in mind, you guys, it depends on all the different options, uh, location, everything like that, that you got to consider when looking at these homes, okay? But this is going to be a great idea for you at the time of recording. Graydon, tell them what to do. 
It's right here up above us. Say, look up. You gotta look up. There you look at Hey. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna figure it out. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. The videos come out Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night. Y'all definitely drop a comment if y'all have any questions. And uh, check out my Instagram page. That's where I stay most active. I'm posting stuff on my story and reading comments, stuff like that as well. So if you need some information, reach out to me on there. Okay, I'll see y'all real soon. God bless you all. Tell him bye. He ain't learned how to wave yet. Not, not your head in your mouth. All right, we'll see y'all soon.